So this is the Total War Three Kingdoms Collector's Edition. And it arrived save by wrapped in plastic. It opens on this little latch in the front and has two very dingy hinges on the back. And when you open it, you see this. This is a game box, the art book in black, the DLC card. And in the bottom, there is the figurine. The art book is very small but sturdy and has a strong back. A little bit too strong, actually. Um, this is about as far as I dared open it without damaging the spine, which the size and this make it a little bit hard to enjoy. Then when you look at what's inside, it's these weird icons from the game and this artwork. And there are some pieces that are directly from inside the game, like the tech tree right here. And those are really beautiful and make a lot of sense in the context of the game. But within this art book, they are so small to really enjoy this gorgeous and absolutely stunning artwork. Because not only is it so small, but it's so hard to open. I could barely get any good pictures from it. And this is how it looks bent after only one use. Now, onto the box of the game itself. And this is a bit rare for collector's editions, really. Generally, this is not the main piece of the thing. And I am quite positively surprised because all pieces of this art box, uh, I call it an art box, actually, are so well done. Uh, it includes the map, the folded up map of uh, the game uh, area to play in. It's of course China and it has some more on the back which we'll see a little later. But the box itself has on the back this beautiful image and this is honestly my favorite piece of artwork that this came with. We'll get to that a little bit later. But on the outside of it, you have all these characters lined up who are very important to the game's story. And they are, of course, absolutely beautifully drawn and easily distinguishable and recognizable. They are. So I'm very surprised by how good this looks. Now, this is some amazing piece of art covering the box that the statue of Guan Yu comes in and it's just this this valley and man, I would love to hang that actually this is something that you hang up to show and then inside the box there's this bigger styrofoam casing which holds the collector's edition statue of Yu about which I have one major gripe, and I'll get to that in a second. First, it's very well protected, and it's almost all in one piece. It only has one little movable piece to it. As you can see, it's a solid statue coming wrapped safely, and there is the one singular moving piece. It's the top part of the weapon he's holding. Everything else is one solid piece, and it's very sturdy, very well made, and looks quite amazing. It's hard to even get it into one shot because of the weapon being so long. But look at the detail. This over there, this little white part, I figured this might be some glue. I was a little disappointed, but we'll take a closer look at this part later on. This is the top of the box. Negative art style for the character. I'm not sure what they mean. I feel they very much fit the overall look. And box. These are the hinges and they're really small and not sturdy. So I don't believe that these are going to hold very long. Luckily, collector's editions are not meant to be handled frequently. This is how the box itself presents when you open it. Has this little red line on the side, which is, I believe, just glued on, so also not the sturdiest design. The bow on the art book looks much better if you open it the first time. This is my recreation after putting it back together. But overall, the look and the art direction of the first viewing is very well done. These are all the pieces taken out of the collector's edition 
you have the DLC card, the art book, the game box, or as I called it earlier, the art box, and the figurine box cover art on the top, and of course the statue of Guan Yu, which I'm a little bit confused about still when it comes to its color. I don't understand why it's red, because the Three Kingdoms, the Romans of the Three Kingdoms, which this game is based on, mentions the word jade so often that I feel a green jade-ish color would have done it greater justice. Now we take a look at the art book, and it pains me to say this, but this is the worst part of the collector's edition. Leading up to the release and the arrival of my personal collector's edition, I was really smitten with how amazing the art direction in the game looked on all the released material, and I was hoping for a great art book, and then we got this. As I said before, just opening the thing is not a good feeling. You can't even open it well. And next, when you do open it, you're afraid to open it too far and the book bends so easily and it gets out of shape so quickly. I have handled this for a whole of maybe two minutes and this is what it looked like after. You can even inside the art book clearly see the inspiration and the reason for the choices in the design that they made. But looking at these depictions of probably historically fairly accurate writings from the time and poetry and writing in general were hugely influential during those times in China. They could have done this in a way where it would still be possible to open, to look at, to actually get into the contents and not be closed forever out of fear of destroying it. I know I've been harping on this point a lot, but this is really something that baffles me. Why would you make an art book for a game that has shown to have one of the most incredible art styles in its own series for a long, long time, and then you make an art book that you can barely open? This is how it looked like when I tried to take pictures for this to get a closer look at what is actually inside. And these depictions are amazing if you get a look, but the book tries to shut itself on your fingers, doesn't want to be seen. Once you do get a look inside of it, you get pictures like these, which is, you have seen this scene before because I've shown it, it is the top cover of the box for the figurine, but it's not the same season. The other one I believe is either autumn or something summerish, and this clearly is the same scene, but in winter. Seeing something like this, it's really amazing because it gives you a feeling of weight and time and, well, just a huge depth to the world. The way this art book has been made is a huge detriment to the overall quality of the experience. This feeling of being let down by an art book is made even stronger in the stark contrast it stands to with the box art of the box that contains just the game discs because just as you look at this cover art you get a sense of adventure of war of even intrigue there's so much going on here and it's so beautifully done it, it draws off into the edges and it's has this real inky art style it's so beautiful and i would have seen loved 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 to be able to see more like this I'm actually quite thankful that the box art for the game disc box has gotten so much love by the design team because images like these cannot be found in the art book, just limited by the size. Obviously, an art book in a length that would be able to depict this scene would be quite impossible to make or fit into any sort of box, but even just half or a third or two thirds of this would have been amazing if you could just browse through, through it and not fear for breaking it or having to go really really close because of the minute size of the given so this is a lovely choice and i'm really happy about it the map is another piece of art that really gets you a 
appealing for what they were trying to go for in both the scope and the art style of the game. It's huge. The map is just tremendously large. There are so many provinces, so many cities, so many environmentally different set pieces that you can even tell by this very reduced art style that the south is going to look different than the north. And then again, the central piece of China is going to look different from both of them. And you can see it by this even flat and muted colored map. And I think this is just amazing. But to bring out these feelings and this emotion that you can get from looking at something like this needs to be properly presented. It needs to have the proper size and the proper space to allow you to get to these feelings. On the back of the map, you find this very handy overview of all the important characters that are in this game, namely Chao Chao, Liu Bai, Dong Zhuo. These are prolific characters of the Three Kingdoms era, and they are very important. And if you have never really read up on it, this is going to help to keep the characters apart. And something that you might notice is that they all kind of have a different color scheme, which comes down to the classes that these heroes are inside the game. And I think this is a really good choice because you can really tell who might be what just on the general appearance of them. This is for me by far the best piece of art that the Collector's Edition comes with. And I'm so glad that they didn't banish it to the tiny finger-trapped art book that pulled so much more beauty from us. Because this is something that needs to be prominently displayed. It's a beautiful image that gives a sense of adventure and even a little bit of foreboding because it's this band of warriors, these soldiers led by the general in red up on the horse, moving toward a palace or a city, maybe a castle, through, even if you can't see it all that well, through very harsh terrain, it's very hilly, there's mountains, it's steep, it's dangerous. Yet they move forward even as the rest of the world loses relevance. It washes away and what is left is the goal and the men and women you travel with. As evocative as the image before is this beautiful rendering of a little town right on the banks of a river in autumn with the fields still fully grown. But you can see how the harsh terrain and the world boxes it in. And this is an oasis within this really unforgiving and hard land. So this gives a feeling of what you're going to expect in the game. There's going to be rich and flourishing towns, but also hard and difficult times. Despite my complaints earlier about the color choice for Gu and Yu, there is something to be said about the choice for red, because in the Romans of the Three Kingdoms, as he first meets his battle brother later, which his pact with makes him so famous throughout the ages, he is described as being red-faced. And the red face, at least in theater, in Chinese culture, apparently is connected to certain attributes like loyalty, which is what Guan Yu is most famous for, his loyal devotion to his brothers and his country. So Guan Yu as a choice for a statue is perfect. He has been worshipped as a god in time and he is revered to be a bodhisattva, a person who has reached enlightenment in Buddhism, but chose not to step out of the circle of rebirth, but rather come back over and over to help others reach enlightenment. 
The detail on the statue of Guan Yu underlines the artistic capabilities of the teams that worked on the collector's edition and probably most of the game's design. And it makes it all the more baffling looking at all these beautiful little details on this statue that the art book has fallen so terribly short because there's no good reason for it. If you look at all these fine details and the craftsmanship that went into building this statue, even if you disregard the fact there are hundreds, probably thousands if not more statues of Guan Yu spread around Asia uh, because he's revered in so many different religions and cultures that there's enough references to build something so detailed and pretty. Even if you disregard this, you still have to craft this and it's lovely. It just makes the art book so much worse. Even the little blob that I mistakenly identified as a piece of glue just turned out to be a little fold of cloth that reflected the light in such a way that it appeared to be glue. But it's not. This statue is artistically and from a crafts perspective amazingly well made. I believe I've made it clear that the art book is the worst part of the whole collector's edition. And it's not due to the art lacking or anything. As I pointed out with this, my favorite picture right there, the art team did an absolutely amazing job. And I'm going to be honest, the thing that made me order the collector's edition instead of just the standard edition was seeing the art of this game, both in the menus and the illustrations that they had released. And the statue of Guan Yu is just a perfect choice. And just how well this one is made absolutely makes this collector's edition worthwhile having for me. Especially if you take the time and read up on why Guan Yu is chosen to be the patron and the physical embodiment of this game's spirit. He fits and is maybe one of the most famous characters from this time period. And not just the most famous, but also the most revered. Lots of the other characters don't have such a good reputation. In. Overall, I'd say, while this is not the most amazing collector's edition I've ever had, the really good parts I pointed out about it make it worthwhile. And I'm happy to have it, and I'm really looking forward to getting to play the game on May 23rd, I believe, of 2019. So, yes, thank you for watching this and listening to my views on this. Have a great day, or week, or night, whichever fits you best.